y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video I'm showing you guys my current night routine. If you guys want to see the morning routine I did that a couple of weeks ago and I will leave it linked below. But before we get into my night routine don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me and drop a like on this video. It helps so 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 much. All right let's get into it. So usually I try to stop working around 5 p.m. I try to work 9 to 5. Sometimes I run over a little bit, but I really try and stop working at 5 because if I don't, I could keep working all night and then I wouldn't get dinner done and I wouldn't go to bed on time. So I really have to train myself to stop working at a certain time because as a lot of y'all know, working from home, it's really easy just to keep working. After work, it's time for yoga. A lot of the times I will already be in workout clothes because I work out before lunch, but on this day I was filming TikToks, so I was in my nice clothes, so I had to change into something that I could do yoga in. I'm wearing an old sports bra I've had forever and some Fabletics leggings. I have three pairs of different Fabletics leggings and I love them. They're really thick and sturdy and most of them have pockets, which I love. Psst, Fabletics sponsor me. I wear your clothes like every day. Crop tops and jackets included. Tweet them and tell them to sponsor me. After yoga, it's time for dinner. I meal prep on Mondays, so dinner is really easy. I just have to warm it up and I have to toss the salad. All the recipes for this can be found down below. I just threw together a really quick balsamic dressing for this salad.
It's dinner time. I made salad with a ground potatoes. The recipe for these potatoes will be down below. And then I just put a little bit of hot sauce on them. Such a simple dinner, but so good. After dinner, my partner was super helpful and did the dishes, so I went to take a shower and get comfy cozy. I use coconut oil to remove my makeup. I know that it doesn't work for a lot of skin types, but I don't freak out with it, so it works fine for me, and it takes off my makeup really well. It works really well for those waterproof makeups. But that's my low waist makeup remover, just some coconut oil and a washcloth. I've got a set of washcloths. They're all stained with makeup because I've used them so many times. But take my makeup off and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and while I'm in there, I'm gonna wash my face. If it's a night where I'm not gonna shower, then I'll just wash my face right after I take my makeup off in the sink. But since I'm gonna hop in the shower, I'm just gonna wash my face in there. Super easy with this like charcoal face wash bar that I got at Whole Foods. And then finish getting into relaxy time. I like to get ready for bed right after dinner. That way I can really relax during my like hour or so of free time. And when I get tired, I can just go plop in bed and not have to worry about getting the energy to get ready for bed. Honestly, try it. It makes your evening relax time so much more relaxing when you're already ready just to plop into bed. And it keeps you from eating too late because you brush your teeth early. very foggy in here. I should open the door. And after I was basically ready for bed, I went and sat on the couch and watched TV with my partner for some relaxy time. Sometimes we watch TV, sometimes we play video games. It just depends on what that day was like and what we're feeling and how much time we have. Sometimes it doesn't take me a whole hour to get ready for bed, but on this day it did. I took a really long hot shower because it felt so nice. At 9 p.m. we shut all screens off, or at least I do, my partner does not. And move to the bedroom where I spend a little bit of time reading. Right now I'm reading a book called Cruchelle's Dart. It's very Game of Thronesy with some very interesting elements thrown in. Not like the story of Game of Thrones specifically, but like it is a Game of Thrones. The book is about kings and queens and betrayal and shit. But that's not why I'm reading it. I'm reading it for the other interesting aspects of it that are not YouTube friendly to talk about. And 10 p.m. is lights out.
thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. Drop a like on this video if you liked it. And if you made it this far, leave me a comment down below what your bedtime is. What time do you try to go to bed at, at least? And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.